All right, so we're going to look at uh, cause effect solution prompts. Um, the, the prompt, this one is climate change is one of the greatest threats to our environment. What causes climate change? What solutions are there to this problem? Uh, so this is cause effect. The format that you use for this is basic four paragraph format. Uh, Sylvia, let's just do a quick review. What goes in your introduction? Um, What's the first um, sentence? Climate change is a very important problem in those days. Yes. So we, we would call that the context. Mm -hmm. Context means what are we talking about? And for the context, you're just paraphrasing the prompt. Okay, so I, I just want to very quickly go over the structure first, and then we'll start the, the writing part. Uh, what would be the next sentence in the intro, Sylvia? Mm. So the next one will be about this, what is causing this climate change? Yes. And what do you call that? Your answer to the question is your? Thesis. Thesis, good. And in this case, it's going to have two parts. Because there are two questions, so you need a two-part thesis to answer them. OK, body paragraph one. What is the purpose of body paragraph one? Mm -hmm. To explain the problem? Uh, it's going to be the answer to the question. Mm -hmm. So in this case, what causes climate change? Okay, another tough question. Oksana, what's the purpose of body paragraph two? Uh, what, what, solution, what kind of solution are the there, yeah. Good. And of course, the end we call the conclusion. What is the first sentence in your conclusion? What do we call it? Uh, but okay, opinion, no. It's your thesis again. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I strongly recommend that at least in the conclusion, you summarize the, the main ideas in both points. And then if needed, you can have a final thought, which would be like an observation, prediction, call to action. But this is only if your conclusion is too short or it ends too abruptly. It's not required that you put in a final thought. So if it's not necessary, if it ends smoothly enough, then don't do it. Don't give them anything they don't ask for because it just increases the possibilities of making mistakes. Okay, Sylvia, quick review. What is the structure of our body paragraphs? What's the acronym? Mm -hmm. Remember? I don't remember. What do you call those green and brown things that are all over the place outside? Trees. Trees, good. <laughs> okay. For the rest of your life, this is the basic structure of a body paragraph. Whether you're writing a nonfiction book or an essay or some kind of description, an article, a complaint letter, it's always going to look like this. 
Okay. What does T stand for? Oksana? But it's not the thesis, no? Well, it, that's one way of looking at it. It could be your thesis for that paragraph, but more generally, it's just called your... Well, topic, yeah. Topic sentence. And usually, what's the second part of a topic sentence? Resources? Reasons? Reason. Re reason, good. What's next? Evidence examples. Evidence, good. Example. Solution? Nope. Or significance. That's it. Okay. Sometime, for the most part, this is always going to work 100%. Sometimes you might need to have more than one piece of evidence, more than one example and parts of this will double up. Sometimes the example is such an obvious answer to the prompt that you don't need a significant statement. So you're not always going to need every single part of this, but usually you will. Okay, and sometimes it's not just going to be these, uh, these five parts. Sometimes this, for example, might double up. So you might have two examples, you know, or you might have two studies that you cite. And we're going to look at a very good example today of kind of high level development that's necessary for a high band score. Okay, let's have a look here. Climate change is one of the greatest threats to our environment. I'm going to ask Sylvia. I think she already gave us a good paraphrase, but I'd like her to just remind us, how did you paraphrase this prompt? Um, I said that climate cha changes are very important in those days. Mm -hmm. uh, climate change is very important in those days. Okay, Sylvia, context once more, please. Mm -hmm. Climate change is uh, very important in those days. Days. That's a little bit too vague, and it doesn't capture this. Mm -hmm. Climate change is getting very important. Uh, so days for our environment. Can you be more specific so that it's a better paraphrase of the original? Mm -hmm. Mr. Yan, mm -hmm. and greatest treats to our environment. Not treat, treats are for Halloween. This is the threat. <laughs> Oh, threat. Is that, is that negative sense or what is that? Threats. In negative. Well, well, okay, what's the synonym for threat? I have to, I have to Google it. <laughs> oh, this, this is, you should be very familiar because this is from law, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if your neighbor threatens you, then you call the police. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So to, to threaten means to... Danger? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Climate change is... Becoming more dangerous for our environment. our environment. Okay. I'm 
going to suggest this is posing an ever greater danger to our environment or for our environment. Okay, what causes climate change? People has have a very big influence on the environment on the climate change. Okay, and specifically in what way? Mm. In creating pollution. Okay, pollution from what? Cars. Okay. Good. So can you put that as one sentence? Mm -hmm. Okay, Sylvia, just in one sentence, mm -hmm. I'd summarize all those things that you just said. Um, people are affecting a climate change by creating pollution from cars. People are, let's use the word contributing. Mm -hmm. uh, keep going. Uh, a climate change. Contributing to climate change. By creating a pollution. By creating a pollution, how? By using their cars. Okay. By creating pollution from by creating pollution from using their cars. Okay. Um, okay. And how would you answer the second part? What what solutions are there to this problem? Um, there's two ways to help it, for example, by switching for bikes mm -hmm. or using an electric car. Ways to, uh, let's say, solve this situation. Switching, uh, sorry, you said using bikes? Bikes or walk. Bikes. And walking or uh, let's say using bikes and walking, let's say as well as switching to electric cars. Okay. That's basically what it is. I'm not too crazy about the way they've, we've uh, phrased some of these things, but that's essentially the way to do it. Okay, it'll do. Now that you've got your thesis statement, notice that this thesis is a paraphrase of this one. And also, if you chop this thesis in half, you've got this topic sentence and you've got this topic sentence. So why don't we write those right now? Because you can, there's no law that says you have to do this in order. Okay. Oksana, 
can you paraphrase our thesis? And we're going to use that as the final thesis. Okay, I have to paraphrase those two uh, sentences, right? In mm -hmm. conclusion, right? That in the, in sure. conclusions. Okay. Okay, in conclusion. To prevent pollution from... Uh, causes, causes come first. What causes climate change? Mm -hmm. Causes climate change. Pollution causes climate change, right? Mm -hmm. In conclusion... Pollution from... From using cars. From but driving automobiles. Yeah, but it's not only the cars maybe may, may we use all maybe include as well um, the plastics right no no, no 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 you, you can't change anything at this point mm -hmm. okay pollution there's from no, here's mm -hmm. here's a rule of writing no new ideas are allowed in the conclusion mm -hmm. the purpose of the conclusion is only to summarize mm -hmm. remember that formula intro say what you're going to say body say it Conclusion, say what you said. Okay, so in conclusion, pollution from driving automobiles can cause us a climate change. Okay, is the major, or let's say is a major source of climate change. Yeah, or a major, let's say, contributor mm -hmm. to climate change. Okay, and now the second part. The solution. Mm -hmm. But we can't use the same words, right? From the second. Correct, you, you need to paraphrase. Exactly, yeah. Uh, to solve this solution, I don't know. To solve this, so no, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> there are many ways to prevent a climate change, such as using bikes or switching uh, to electric cars. Mm -hmm. or we can just say. Solutions include uh, many ways to prevent a climate change, mm -hmm. such so, as yeah, go ahead. Such as using bikes and uh, electric cars, or even walking. What's a synonym for walking? Hmm. Have to Google. <laughs> I don't know. I have very strange words. You know? Going on foot. Foot? No, I don't have that one. <laughs> going on foot. Oh, okay. Going on foot. Okay. Going on foot. And driving electric cars. We can oh, say vehicles. Yeah, vehicles, yeah, vehicles, you're right. Driving electric vehicles. Okay, if you can't think of anything else, that's it. You're fine. You've satisfied the, this is the standard format for an essay. If you do this, nobody is confused. Your structure, your argument, your position are crystal clear. Okay. It's not beautiful, but it's effective. Now, 
just by convention, this is the genre convention, we also have our topic sentences. So Sylvia, what's the topic sentence going to be for our first body paragraph? Mm. Climate change is... Um, can I say that is very popular subject those days? No, just, just answer the question directly. Climate change, by the way, for, you need to, I strongly recommend using passive voice once or twice, at least in the essay, just to increase the variety uh, of grammar that you're showing the examiner. So let's say is caused mainly by What do you call that uh, that stuff that comes out of the tailpipe in a car? Pollution is a very general word, but what do you call that smoke that comes out of the back of a car? So it's with E X H. Exhaust. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about being super tired, you would say, I'm exhausted. But vehicle exhaust is the smoke that comes out of cars. My, my vehicle exhaust. Okay, from, let's just be more specific, from gasoline powered cars. And then we don't need vehicle because we've got cars. Climate change is caused mainly by exhaust from gasoline powered cars. Okay. What's our other topic sentence going to be? Again, you're just paraphrasing this again. There are a few solutions how to prevent the climate change. Mm -hmm. So let's use a different structure. Let's not start with there are. We can prevent. Mm -hmm. The climate change. In two simple steps. such as switching for bikes or electric cars. Okay. So the, the first way, how would you generalize that? So using bikes and walking is an example of not using a car, right? Mm -hmm. Such as by not driving, Driving the cars. Or by driving electric cars. Okay. So right now, we've already finished quite a bit of the essay. 
right? I hope this is showing you that you don't need to go through the whole thing step by step. You can jump around a bit. It's because once you have this idea, this thesis, that thesis controls what goes in the topic sentences and it controls what goes in the conclusion. That's basically set in stone at that point. You can't change it. This is what the reader expects. That's what you have to give the reader. Okay, tell me about Oksana. Climate change is caused mainly by exhaust from gasoline powered cars. Tell me about that. It's actually, I need to talk about the reason, right? Mm, let, let's say this is the reason. Now we're going to expand on it. Topic and reason generally go in the same sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. How do you know that? That's what evidence means. How do you know? Mm. Uh, okay, I'm thinking about the cars, you know, electric cars are very uh, expensive for um, for using, right? That's right. I don't know how to cooperate all together, right? Because we need to But we're, we're not on electric cars yet. We're about... Okay. The first body paragraph is what causes climate change? And that's the only thing we're going to talk about in this paragraph. So I need to start with exhaust from gasoline uh, powered cars can impact on uh, climate change such as pollution and, oh uh, gosh. But how, how do cars cause climate change? Like what's the mechanism that they keep telling us about in the news? They're exploring uh, gasoline to the air. In that way, they make, they make the pollution through the air. How? There. Uh, mm -hmm. what, what do you call these? Which gases come out of the car? Exactly, which gas? <laughs> what's what's like the major greenhouse gas that they keep talking about? I don't know which green gas. <laughs> uh, Sylvia, do you know? Mm, no. Uh, CO2? Oh, yeah, CO2, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a carbon dioxide. Dioxide, yeah. yeah. Through the air, not to the into the air or atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what does the carbon dioxide do? Why is carbon dioxide so bad? Because it's because unhealthy to breathe in. Yes, but how does it cause climate change? What, why do they call it the greenhouse effect? Because the nature, the like trees are clearing the air and because of that many cars, it's harder for them to clear that air. Carbon dioxide, it's a chemical mm -hmm. and uh, Mm -hmm. 
Okay, yeah, I'm sure you've read or heard something like this. They've been talking about this in the news for years. As an example, what could you talk about? For example, is uh, enormous now. Num I can't talk about the nar numbers, right? For ex okay, for example, enormous numbers of carbon dioxide exploring to the air, so it's a less of oxygen to breathe for people, something like that. I don't know. That that's true, but that's not climate change. Mm -hmm. That's people having less oxygen to breathe. So it's off topic. True, but off topic. Yeah, that's something to really watch out for. Both, not just on IELTS, but in any kind of writing that you do is your, your writing has a goal. In this case, it's to explain what causes climate change and what solutions there are. And we have to stay narrowly focused on that goal and not talk about even things that are closely related. So, oh. so we're not talking about human health, just changing climate. Yes, and for example, example, right? What we have to create there, it's only uh, um, what kind of causes climate changes well, in example. Well, uh, well, the example would be some of the consequences or just examples of what we're talking about. So over the last while, what was the big news from like Australia, California? A fires. That's it. Wildfires, right? Caused by the climate change. So recently, wildfires caused by climate change have, here's a good word, ravaged. Australia and California. What do you think ravaged means from uh, this context? Okay, need to Google it. <laughs> it just means caused widespread destruction. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if they're still raising, uh, raging. So let's say recently wildfires caused by climate change ravaged Australia and California. I think those fires are finished. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Ravage, it could be like a waste or spoil, no? Cause destruction. Oh, cause destruction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What caused these wildfires? Mm. Disaster, oh, no, I mean, the so many animals has died, so many forests are gone. Should we include all this stuff or? No, because we're interested in the causes of climate change. Yeah. So why do you think fires start? What causes wildfires to begin? Very interesting because very dry weather and they didn't have enough uh, of rain. That's it. So the lack of rain Mm -hmm. Over a long period of time. Lack of rain over a long period of time created extremely dry conditions, which
Okay, what goes in our significant statement? In significance, should we summarize all that? Just one sentence. Something like this. Mm Oh, we're missing an idea, the heat. Um, together with heat waves. Okay. Um. I'm going to change this a little bit. Uh, thus, as a result, same thing, just different order as a result of the carbon dioxide emitted into the air by gasoline burning cars temperatures The carbon dioxide emitted into the air by gas. Temperatures rise. Risen. Okay, there we go. Oh, what about solutions? Okay, so we've got our reason here. Okay, how do we know this is true? Uh, because of the researchers. Researchers shows that uh, using electric cars are much more healthier for our climate, climate, not healthier, maybe. Don't, don't think too hard about this. Don't overthink it. 
uh, you know, I'm thinking actually about this question because we can divide this question by, you know, two points. For example, you know, uh, electric cars are very expensive. It's not, uh, it's not everyone who can um, handle it, right? So if you can handle it, the uh, um, electric cars, so you can walk or you can uh, use the bike, right? Mm -hmm. But but these are two separate solutions. You don't need mm -hmm. to you don't need to mix them together. Exactly. Yeah. Just two separate solutions. Discuss them in a straightforward way. But we, I, I can start uh, sentences with the research shows. Uh, okay, tell me what you want to say. Uh, the research shows that uh, electric cars are more... To... Well, our, our first part is not driving, so we have to start with that. Okay. When you write a topic sentence, that topic sentence, the structure of the topic sentence controls the structure of the rest of that paragraph. So if the first thing you talk about is not driving, and then the second thing you mention is electric cars, don't continue by talking about electric cars first. Go in the same order or it causes confusion. Okay, not driving a car, a cars will prevent uh, climate change from pollution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then tell, tell me more, one more sentence about this. We've got two, two methods of not driving, walking and biking. Should I include all this stuff? Yeah, just mm -hmm. talk about those two things. Okay, no try. Okay, I can't such us, no, or maybe moreover, better to you to walk or using a bike, mm -hmm. or even drive a, a, a dr drive an electric car. We're going to talk about electric cars in the next part. Oh, okay. You to close. Okay, no driving is up. Such as walking or the what I can do when people walk or ride a bike, they again it's going to be. Re repeating again and again prevent the climate the climate from pollution oh, right okay so if we don't want to do that let's talk mm -hmm. about electric cars then uh sylvia go ahead so should i go to the evidence uh let's let's talk about electric cars now yes that's our other piece of evidence mm -hmm. so Electric cars are another way to stop the climate change.
can you do you want to include these together? Do you want to talk about electric cars, about how they help prevent climate change? Mm. By choosing this way of transportation, we are not creating a carbon dioxide. The atmosphere. Now, one kind of obvious common objection that people have to electric cars is that they're well, expensive. The ex they're going to get cheaper as more people use them, as there's more competition. They're expensive now because not many people make electric cars. But the, the most obvious and strongest objection that people have is where does the electricity come from? Right? Because if we burn coal to produce this electricity for electric cars, then we're polluting quite a lot. It just moves the pollution from the car to the power plant, right? So you might have less pollution in the city itself because people are driving electric cars, but you're still gonna have actually even more pollution because this electricity needs to be produced. So it's very important how the electricity is produced. Which, what's the most like, what's the most powerful way of producing electricity without causing pollution that we currently have? And, and Oksana, I'm gonna agree with you. This is probably too repetitive, too basic, so we're just gonna get rid of that. Uh, Sylvia, what's what's a an effective way of producing electricity that does not create any uh, exhaust gases? Could use power plant. What kind of power plant doesn't produce any smoke? What do we have in Pickering here? I forgot how they are called. <laughs> uh, particular when electricity produced using nuclear, nuclear. power, yeah. Hydro or wind, or yeah, you can say other renewables like wind and solar nothing is burned and thus no waste gases are produced. Okay, just something simple at the end to round off the paragraph. We used thus above, we can start this one with therefore.
curb means limit or eliminate. Uh, sorry, curb the um, curb the pollution that leads to climate change. Okay, let's see how this reads. Let's, let me just get rid of all this stuff. Whoops, that's that one. Okay, here we go. Just getting rid of all this stuff so we can get an accurate word count. We are at 299 words. This is perfect in terms of the word count. Let's uh, read through it. Climate change is becoming more dangerous. I'm going to keep this one. It's going to reduce our word count a little bit, but that's fine. Climate change is posing an ever greater danger to our environment. People are contributing to climate change by creating pollution from using their cars. There are two ways to solve this situation. Problem. Using bikes and walking, as well as switching to electric cars. Climate change is caused mainly by exhaust from gasoline-powered cars. When cars burn gasoline, they expel carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The CO2 functions as a greenhouse gas and traps the sun's heat close to the Earth's surface, which causes global warming in some places and cooling in others. Recently, wildfires caused by climate change ravaged Australia and California. The lack of rain over a long period of time together with heat waves, created extremely dry conditions, which allowed these fires to burn out of control for a long time. Thus, as a result of the carbon dioxide emitted into the air by gasoline powered or gasoline burning cars, temperatures have risen. We can prevent climate change in two simple ways, such as by not driving or by driving electric cars. Not driving is obviously the most straightforward way to prevent climate change due to pollution. Electric cars are another emerging technology that allows us to stop climate change. Um, so we don't have a first emerging technology. Electric cars, moreover, I'll, I'm gonna put a transition in here. Moreover, electric cars are an emerging technology that allows us to stop climate change. By choosing this method of transportation, we're not emitting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. In particular, when electricity is produced using nuclear power, hydro, or other renewables like wind and solar, nothing is burned and thus no waste gases are produced. Um, therefore, changing how we get around, either by not driving or by using electric vehicles powered by non-polluting sources of energy is an effective way to curb the pollution that leads to climate change. In conclusion, pollution from driving automobiles is a major contributor to climate change. Solutions include riding bikes, going on foot, and driving electric vehicles. Okay, I think we've used climate change a little bit too much. 
can you think of any synonyms for climate change? Remember that paraphrasing includes changing word order, changing word form. So you don't always need to completely use different words. How could you change those words around? Change the climate? Two. Close. Okay, 298, good. Okay, any questions, any comments? Was the process that we used straightforward? Does it give you any idea of how to approach this kind of essay? Did you find that it was very complicated, Sylvia? Um, no, I'm finding it actually totally different than I was writing essays before. I never really structured. I just was going straight with the idea after idea. Mm -hmm. So that's way more organized way of writing it than I used to. If you just follow the tree structure, it tells you exactly what to put in each sentence and so you don't have to spend any time thinking about that. For the last 2500 years since Aristotle, writing has been structured, and public speaking as well, has been structured into content, arrangement, and delivery. It's exactly the same way that IELTS assesses your writing. Content is task achievement, arrangement is coherence cohesion, and delivery is the two categories of grammar and vocabulary. If you use this format, it takes care of content because it tells you exactly what content you need to include and it takes care of coherence cohesion because it tells you where to put everything. Right, so it saves you a lot of thinking time because it's really hard to do all these things at once. Uh, and in my high school classes, where we obviously have a lot more time to do this kind of work, we follow the same process, but in a more drawn out way. Uh, and the results of using this are way, 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 way better than not using this. Right? At least everything is going to be in a logical order. So then all you need to do is you, you got to worry about transitions to put between, uh, between ideas and how to explain your ideas, but at least you can just focus on the vocabulary and on the grammar instead of the content and the structure. See, IELTS is not looking for any genius ideas. If you want band eight or nine, uh, it's, it's a bit harder, the bar is higher. But for band seven, um, as long as you put those ideas in the right order, you support them with examples, you've got some reasons, uh, you're fine. What I'd like to do now, though, is to write, uh, is to read uh, an essay written by an examiner, and just just to have a look at the uh, at the difference. Okay, Sylvia, can I have you read, please, from here? Mm -hmm. In recent years, the environmental impact and trend 
posed by climate climate change has become increasingly evident and needs to be addressed. This essay will first look at the main causes of climate change and then proceed to highlights highlight solutions to the serious problem. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, one more paragraph and then uh, Oksana mm -hmm. can read the rest. Most experts agree that changes in climate are the result of human activities. One example of this is deforest deforestation. In the last century, humans have dramatically reduced, reduced the number of forests around the world for the purpose of agriculture and timber. The Amazon rainforest is perhaps the best uh, case in point. It has been reduced by nearly 60%. The results of deforestation in the Amazon and other forests is an in increase in greenhouse gases, which dramatically affects the climate. Another major cause of climate changes change is the continued use of fossil fuels to meet energy and transportation needs. Fossil fuels create pollution, which results in ozone problems, increased temperature, and wet weather changes. Okay, Oksana? The solution to this problem are quite obvious, but not simple to put into practice. Firstly, humans need to address the causes of deforestation. Deforestation. Agri deforestation. Agriculture should be more efficient and sus sustainable, sustainable. While there is a large population that needs to be fed, farming methods can be more environmentally friendly and forests can be replanted and better protected. Secondly, fossil fuel use, use needs to be reduced and better regulated by governments. One way to do this is to continue to develop alternative energy forms, which are cheaper. This will reduce the amount of fossil fuel used. Additionally, governments can be more strict with businesses that use foil or that use fossil fuels irresponsibly. 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 As mentioned, climate change is primarily primarily caused by deforest, deforestation and fossil fuel use. It is a serious issue and will only get worse if solutions are not carefully considered. 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 Good. Okay, let's analyze it a bit uh, to see how it's how this one's structured and how it's maybe similar or different to the one we just did. But here they attached also the farming, right? Yeah. Because the last, actually yesterday I watched the news, right? And that, you know, that girl, I don't know how old she is, 15 or 15, 16, who is fighting with the climate change, right? Mm -hmm. She said that on her opinion, the all cows need to be killed, right? Mm-hmm. The all like animals, uh, not animals, um, husbandry, it should be killed because they are, uh, I'm sorry for my language, farting, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this fart is actually carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, like, like we wrote, like we wrote before. So, and to prevent the pollution, all husbandry need to be killed, you know, because of that carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. She's yeah. She's got her opinion. Um, okay. We can all eat meatless burgers. Those are getting uh, more popular, right? You could talk about this. We should all eat meatless burgers. Kill all the cows. Sure. IELTS doesn't care what you say as long as you support your ideas with reasons and examples. Right. Um, okay. 
but farming they you know they put here farming but farming it's not only um, husbandry right farming it's also um, people who grow the veggies right farming but i don't know or farming it's only husbandry how how to find out no there's there's lots of things you can say there there isn't just one way to answer these kinds of questions mm -hmm. So in recent years, the environmental impact and threat posed by climate change has become increasingly evident and needs to be addressed. So let's see what we can use here. Any kind of essay like this. In recent years, the X impact and threat posed by X has become increasingly evident and needs to be addressed. This essay will first look at the main causes of X and then proceed to highlight solutions to this serious problem. Right. You could just, the few things that I've underlined, you can replace them with another topic. Right. The rest of this, you can apply to basically any topic for this kind of prompt. Most experts agree that buh 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 are the result of buh buh buh. One example of this is, and uh, this person chose to talk about deforestation. Okay, so this is the this is the uh, evidence. In the last century, humans have dramatically reduced the number of forests around the world for the purpose of agriculture and timber. So this is not specifically about what we are eating. This is just you know, people need to eat and farmers need land to grow food. Where are they going to get it from? They have to chop down forests, right, to, to create farmland. So that's, that's all he's talking about. It doesn't matter what we're talking about, whether that's, um, whether that's farm animals or whether that's vegetables. Yes, yeah, he, he could have gone into much more detail because farm animals require much more farmland than vegetables do because farm animals, what do they eat? Grains and veggies, right? So you have to grow those in order to feed the farm animals. So you need several times more land to support farm animals compared to just growing vegetables. But that's, that's a lot of detail. It's something that you could talk about, but it's not, uh, as you can see here, it's not necessary. All he needs to, all he chose to say is that farmers need farmland and they get it by cutting down forests. The other thing we need forests for is timber. Okay, human activities. An example of human activity is chopping down forests. Then he gives a specific example. Amazon rainforest is perhaps the best case in point. This is a good phrase. Case in point means an example that proves the point. It's been reduced by nearly 60%. So, the result of ba 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 is this problem, which dramatically affects the climate. Then he gave another cause. Okay. The continued use of fossil fuels to meet energy and transportation needs. All right, so he didn't talk about specific, specifically what we use energy for or what kind of transportation we're using, just that any kind of uh, use of fossil fuels for energy and transportation results in pollution. Ozone problems, increased temperature. Right. Just ended by saying weather changes, climate change. The solutions to this problem are quite obvious. 
but not so simple to put into practice. That's a, it's a very nice introduction. Firstly, humans need to address the causes of, what does address mean here? It's not like address an envelope, address a letter. What does it mean here? Take through the consideration. Mm -hmm. Or deal with. If someone says to you, I need you to address this problem, I need you to deal with this problem. Okay. So causes of deforestation, number one, agriculture should be more efficient and sustainable. So the solutions need to be related to the problems mentioned in the first body paragraph. While there's a large population that needs to be fed, farming methods can be more environmentally friendly. And it, he chose not to go into greater detail. Uh, it's simply not necessary and you don't have time to do it. And forests can be replanted and better protected. Secondly, fossil fuel use needs to be reduced and better regulated by governments. One way to do this is to continue to develop alternative energy forms which are cheaper. This will reduce the amount of fossil fuels used. Sure, I think, okay, this should be cleaner. Okay, I'm gonna have to change that. Uh, continue to develop alternative energy forms which are cheaper or which are cleaner. This will reduce the amount of fossil fuels used, yes. Additionally, so he's got a third solution. Governments can be more strict with businesses that use fossil fuels irresponsibly. Okay, and yes, it is a bit repetitive, but that is how essays are written. Say what you're gonna say, say it, say what you said. Climate change is primarily caused by this and the other reason. It's a serious issue and will only get worse if solutions are not carefully considered. And you can kind of memorize that last sentence and use it uh, for any topic like this. Okay, it's an observation and a prediction at the end because the if you just end with this, it'll be very abrupt. And one sentence paragraphs are not a good idea uh, in an essay. Okay, any questions? Any observations? Comments? And the homework, it's uh, that prompt? Yes, it'll be the same one. Okay. How long is this? So this is, these are a couple words apart, virtually identical in terms of word length. Okay, why don't I give you time now to get started?